are at an undisclosed location somewhere in California. Behind this black gate is a bunch of Harley stuff. Livewire stuff too. So we're here with Livewire. We're picking up a bike I've never seen. They literally were like, hey, you want to come ride this new Livewire? And they're like, we just want you to get on it. Give us your thoughts. Like a blind date. So what are they doing? They're like prepping it back there and they're just kind of I'm like, gonna go Whoa. shine it up and then we'll, we'll bring it out. Blindfold, yeah, engage. What? <laughs> Don't like tuck it into your hat. Tell me where to go. Just forward three steps. <laughs> Keep going. Warm. Warmer. <laughs> what the f Warmer? You're so close to it now. <laughs> This is like way longer, inverted. Brembo. <laughs> so it's the Livewire Mulholland. S2. S2. You can just tell by looking at it, it's gonna be a fun motorcycle to ride. This bike is small. With Livewire power, it means it's gonna rip. It's taller in the front, bigger front tire, short wheelbase, Brembo brakes, quality stuff right there. Since it's electric, We've got no gears, transmission, twist and go. Real quick before getting on the bike, <laughs> they came out and they were like, cool. what color seat do you want? I'm like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Black, red, or what was the other one? We have a gray as well. A gray? And this is like a nice, it's not like a gaudy red, it's like super subtle. It's like wine red. Yeah, it yeah. looks great. <laughs> yeah, you can red today. <laughs> bada bang, bada boom. You use that. It's so different with red. I like it. That's cool, yeah. Like My first thoughts and impressions on the bike, uh, just based on the ergos of it, like I just, it's gonna be a ripper. Hooligan bike. It looks you, gnarly. Right? Yeah, the forks especially. Yeah, it is up <laughs> there. Like it's got this like yeah. stance to it. So right now, what we're gonna be doing is uh, I'm gonna be taking this one and we're gonna be riding down to Huntington Beach. I'm stopping, grabbing some lunch somewhere. And then tomorrow, the plan is that uh, we're gonna grab the Del Mar. So that's Livewire's last release so it's an s2 platform the del mar it's set up a bit differently so amanda and i are going to be riding those so that's going to be a separate video we're going to get basically those thoughts and opinions on each platform also her first time on a like serious electric bike right yeah because you've ridden what have you ridden previously not an electric bike <laughs> i cannot wait to get your reaction i'm it's stoked be, yeah it's gonna be amazing like these bikes are so much fun got helmet let's go ride Okay, helmet is on. What up, fam? I can tell you right off the bat though, seat height. Yeah, look at this, like flat footing, both sides. And then once I sit, suspension's compressed, flat footing. Dude, these bars, skinny, feels very like aggressive, sporty. Definitely need to adjust these mirrors. All right, so on, boop, there. We're gonna have different ride modes. On the right, you've got throttle, front brake, hazards. You've got ride mode button right there, on, off. So just need to press start, it says on the gauge right here, press start. So boop so kickstand is up we're started you've got audio controls if you've got like a headset or uh phone connected this is always the weirdest part <laughs> literally like it's there's no noise it's just straight up <laughs> this is always so crazy this part right here <laughs> yo the ergos on this thing <laughs> it feels like a big bicycle <laughs> oh my god Guys, this thing's gonna be fun. So yeah, it's always the weirdest part, like starting out, because there's no clutch. It's all one gear, right? So you don't have to pull a clutch lever in. You don't have any shifting. So literally like my left hand is just gonna be chilling here. And my left foot, there's nothing for this side to do. If you need a 
carry some in and out burger to go, <laughs> you totally could. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Just got on throttle a bit and it totally feels like that front wheel is going to pull up. Whoa, dude. <laughs> it always surprises me how just powerful electric bikes can feel like this that torque it it very much feels like that front tire is going to come up the seat height isn't as tall but the bike feels taller suspension is feeling good absorbing like you know these road bumps and stuff like i said inverted front forks it's always a good thing so we went over everything on the right this is your audio stuff your uh, TC is going to be traction control, and that's your voice if you've got a headset connected up to it. On the left, you've got your pass, your high beam, low beam, all that stuff. So that's going to indicate there. You've also got cruise control, so to turn that on, you're just going to tap the top one. That'll turn it on. Indicates there. To turn it off, you're going to press down, but we'll go ahead and turn that on. And to set, you're going to pull down and then press up to resume. This is going to be your options. So if you press the options button, it's going to take you. So we've got 111 miles range. Then you trip A, so there's currently trip A, trip B, 70, 70 miles on the odometer. Uh, external temp 68 degrees and back to range so I'm gonna reset trip a boop so 0.0, .0. I feel like pulling clutch in that's always the weirdest thing on these bikes want to pull the clutch in I feel like a ninja in traffic because this thing is just so quiet so this is just road mode and it feels incredibly responsive I keep on wanting to shift that's gonna take a little bit to break I need to adjust my right mirror so in order to adjust and not lose speed, I'm going to go ahead and throw cruise control on, pull it down to set it. There we go. All right. That is much better. Roll forward on throttle, cancel cruise control. Sheesh. Dude, I feel like I'm sitting so upright. I mean, the ergonomics on this thing are awesome. Very, very comfortable. See, so yeah, we're just outside of Los Angeles. So there you go, LA and we're uh, they've got a route pretty much planned so we're gonna be going to where chris was talking about said earlier yeah and i'm just gonna get initial first thoughts impressions of the motorcycle of the mulholland i'm kind of curious as to why they went with that name i'll be sure to ask uh later on yeah this thing you could you could lean the hell out of this thing the ergos on it like i keep saying the ergos are so nice suspension feels real good i think i was talking about the gauge went through the options there then you've got like this selection for the menu here on the gauge once you start getting into it so you've got your menu button so if you were to hit that it's going to take you into different sh selections here you've got the gps you've got music you've got uh the motorcycle which you're going to be able to change modes and then you've got settings and back to home so we're going to leave it here then you've got your home button on the bottom there you've got your indicators so indicators are on one side so left meaning going left right going right and press in to cancel on your horn on the bottom Beep. Beep. i'm definitely sitting upright i don't feel cramped like whatsoever these are i would say rear sets right <laughs> dude the, oh my god the amount of like responsiveness the pickup and go on this thing it's insanity so something that is freaking crazy about this opportunity guys is livewire has basically reached out i've worked with them in the past i did the original livewire test ride and you know one of the things i was talking about with it being electric is to like give it a chance because i know whenever livewire initially like came out it was under harley davidson and now livewire is its own company one of the things that i did with that livewire is i put it through its paces i had it for about a week just went around town like riding it you know range testing i tried to kill that bike as fast as i could and it was by far one of my favorite motorcycles that was the what they call the livewire one now whenever they came out with this del mar i rode that one up in milwaukee for the 120th with harley davidson that's whenever i started talking to livewire and the team behind it and uh, we basically got to talking potentially doing a livewire loaner with the del mar and then they contacted me about this thing and they're like hey we got this bike that we're going to be coming out with we can't tell you anything about it but we'd like for you to be one of the first people to check it out and to review it. You know, basically asking me if I, I want to do that. And I'm like, yeah, uh, since I f***ing love the live wire. Yes, most definitely yes. F***. This thing is fast. <laughs> So yeah, first and foremost, big thanks to Livewire. One of the things they did share with me is the fact that this 
motorcycle, the Mulholland, is one of the only ones currently in production. I mean, obviously, whenever you guys see this video, they will be available. We basically, like, film this content beforehand so that it's ready to go. This is legit my first thoughts, impressions. To get that opportunity with Livewire, thank you guys. I greatly appreciate it. And I only get those opportunities, guys, because of y'all, because of you watching uh, because if you're hitting the like button hitting subscribe leaving comments all that stuff like that's that's the reason that these companies want to work with me so i have to say a huge thanks to you guys i am incredibly appreciative that like legit this is my job could not believe it i started this youtube channel seven years ago like working on a motorcycle I used harley davidson iron 883 in like a parking garage and it has grown to have these opportunities where these companies are willing to work with us because you guys watch and uh yeah so i can't say thank you guys enough for continuing to watch continuing to support hitting that subscribe button hitting that like signing up for our website for our motorcycle giveaways all that stuff on that note i guess quick shameless plug we do give away motorcycles guys i think we've given away like over 12 or 13 and we're currently in season 10 of our blockhead motorcycle giveaway season and we are giving away a sucker punch sally which was previously owned by the reverend horton heat we've got a plaque from cycle source magazine which talks about him and that band getting the motorcycle and we've also got a signature on the back of it from him video going over it so yeah it's just a super cool package beautiful motorcycle one that i planned on keeping for a bit but we're basically to the point now of building our own bikes from the frame up so if uh I want to do something like that we can essentially build it which is super cool i come a long way since we first started that's for damn sure so if you guys are interested in getting in on that head over to blockheadmotor.com sign up select a tier and you guys are in you get various other perks as well exclusive access to our discord early access to episodes and more okay so this is road mode and it is plenty responsive more tame on the roll-on but it's, I mean, you can pretty much place yourself wherever the hell you want in traffic with this thing. Like, you are totally in control. And the fact that it's, like, it's quiet, you know, like I said, makes you feel like a road ninja. But it's got this whine to it, which I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'll try to, like, pull that up a little bit here. Yeah, it has to. So that's really getting on it. So <laughs> with the rear sets, you can legit, like, stand straight up on this thing. <laughs> so look at this. Straight standing. Like, oh la la. Honestly, whenever you do this, you feel like Superman. Just because there's nothing in front of you. Just like standing up riding. I cannot speak enough about the suspension right now. Like, these little bumps and stuff, like in the road. Like, suspension is just soaking them right up. One of those things that I always talk about with suspension is like, you don't want it to be too soft and you don't want it to rebound too hard. You know, it's not like jostling my voice too much. So it's not like a super stiff suspension, but it's also not too soft, too cushy because, you know, being in these turns and hitting, if it was like kind of rebounding too hard, or, like too cushy, too soft, cushy, <laughs> very technical term, right? But it's, uh, it causes you to be like a little bit more, um, like not as confident in the bike uh, and in the traction. Whew, that was a good bump. Just took it like a champ. So if I were to switch modes here, that's gonna be this button there. So it changes into, sorry, changes into sport mode there. Immediately, I notice an increase in engine braking, which is good for like coming into turns. You know, you let off throttle. It's like a nice engine brake. It is definitely more aggressive in sport mode with the engine braking. So that's, I'm sure you guys can see it kind of throwing me forward a little bit. So that's sport mode. And then if I do the next mode, it's gonna be rain. It's gonna be much more muted, not near as drastic and sudden of a change. So coming off of throttle, it's just much more smooth, which is perfect for riding in the rain because in the rain, you don't want any sudden movements because of, you know, like you've got less traction because obviously roads are wet. So we press it again, it should go into eco mode. Eco mode is going to be less power, I would think. If I tap it again, we go back into road mode and that's a really nice kind of in the middle, in between, it's gonna be not super aggressive on the engine braking you can still feel it but rolling on throttle is still very like okay like you want it you basically grab a handful of it and you are going this bike is super nimble it seriously feels it's it probably sounds terrible but it feels like bicycle ergonomics funny as a bicycle goes by but just with a 
ton of power, obviously. Like, I mean, I could. That was nuts. Whenever you buy the motorcycle, like, choose the seat and choose some of, like, I guess the other customization options. So, like, you know, talking about the red seat, I think it's it's like this beautiful, like, red wine almost leather, which looks so good. I love how they've left, like, some bits exposed. So it just kind of has, like, this kind of raw, like, industrial feel to it. So you've got two lines here, some line with loom on this side. Gauge is nice and like centered up, so plenty in view. Since it is a longer seat, it's like you can scoot up on it and feel like more tucked up, or you can scoot back on it a little bit, you know. And then having like the, the rear sets, like, and being able to stand really nice as well because you can easily make those adjustments. Also, if there's like a really gnarly bump coming up in the road, you can just like straight stand up on it if you want. I probably shouldn't have to say this, but you know there's no windshield so you're going to be taking wind uh to the chest to the helmet there's nothing really blocking the wind on here if you're going at sustained speeds so since i am on an electric bike we should probably go ahead and talk about the refueling right because that's one of those things that is incredibly important if you're going electric you're looking to probably stay a little bit more local like i said this thing's got 112 mile range whenever we picked it up so i think that was like just below 100 percent so you're looking at a little over a hundred depending on the ride mode it was two dollars to essentially charge it and go 20 percent to 90 percent two dollars which is amazing so you go to a charge point charge point has an app if you guys are looking to find a charge uh like a rapid charge station with a mall holland it is a level two charger so you can pretty much pull up and you can charge this thing super quick but you would uh basically go to a charge point you're going from here you unplug it you bring it over to the motorcycle and you plug it in here on the side it is literally as easy as that so i'm plugging boop plugging in press in it's charging and you just leave it for a while you go enjoy some tacos go to the beach here and then uh yeah to charge up it pretty much goes from i think it's like a full charge within a couple hours they said but i'm not going to get too much into those like nitty-gritty specs so you guys if y'all want to look those up i'll be sure to drop a link down in the description below but once it's charged up you can see that it's fully charged or what percentage it's at through the app the charge point app but then livewire also has their own app which you can connect to and see what the charge level is as well you can also get lots of other diagnostics through that app it's very well designed uh, you guys be sure to check that out whenever you're done though boop close that up i feel really super charged you feel charged up <laughs> <laughs> clear <laughs> And you just take it and you put it right back into the little charge point area. All right, rolling at about 19. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> My hands almost came off the bars. <laughs> that is crazy fast. 194 foot pounds of torque. And you are like literally like holding on to the bike because it just wants to go boom, out from under you you can't not smile whenever you do that it's just impossible to not smile to just grab a handful like i literally i have to hold my breath if you guys can hear that in my voice it's pushing you so hard it feels like you're in a freaking fighter jet electric it is a convenience but at the same time it can also be an inconvenience depending on where you're at longer distances than 100 miles obviously you've got to plan your trip a bit more there's been a number of videos where people have basically gone and taken like teslas and tried to drive across the country and there's pros and cons to it and so it's just kind of like is this something that fits you and your lifestyle can you use it for what you know it was built for at the base of it it's a motorcycle and like that <laughs> it's a hell of a fun motorcycle like would it fit my lifestyle like in terms of uh, just the overall range like i think it probably would punch mode but i would have to have it and live with it for a little bit to give that an honest and thorough review it's lighter weight the ergonomics are different i'm more on top of the bike like i said it feels very like bicycle ergonomics you're sitting like you would with uh, a naked upright the rider triangle on this thing is incredibly comfortable would i buy it 
more than likely yes especially for the fact that like it would just be so nice unplug it roll it out of my garage go to work ride back home plug it back in and the next morning rather than me having to stop at a gas station or anything like that it's just juiced up and ready to go highly recommend guys go test ride one if there's not a dealer in your area maybe like find a demo day you can like check out the uh, demo days on their website throw your leg over one twist back on that throttle and i guarantee it makes you smile with all that being said you guys do me a huge favor let me know what your thoughts are on this thing if you guys have experience with previous electric bikes if you guys have experience with live wire from the live wire one to the del mar let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you guys are thinking about getting one let me know your thoughts as well why you're considering getting one i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was insightful my uh goal in these videos is to communicate to you guys how the bike feels like i said you can read a spec sheet just as well as i can so check out that link down in the description below but the bike it feels amazing so big thumbs up on that one great job live wire <laughs> the bike just it's it just feels rowdy like i said hooligan for sure and the frame geometry on it is such a win if you guys did enjoy this video do me a favor hit the thumbs up if you guys aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity until next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant and i will catch you guys on the next one peace